Yeah. Right. Yeah. And digest fat. Yeah, digest is better. And you think, better. yeah, and you think about the bread that you get in the store, it goes from a factory for however many weeks, maybe sits on the shelf, goes in the truck, then it goes to you in the store, and who knows how long it's been sitting there before you take it and like take it home. Let's act like it's only three days to get the shelf to, to the store. <laughs> That other bread will be moldy already. Right. You know, real bread. That's why, you know, you know, in the ancient world, we used to cooking bread every right every day, right there. Right we eat it. Meal. Yeah. Yep. We, our, but our women knew how to make bread, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, read read the, that last verse you just read, because there's one more, uh, one more part. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. Uh, verse 50. And they were haughty and committed abomination before me. Therefore, I took them away as I saw good. Yeah, it said, I despise the poor. Another scripture, uh, it says, um, one thing that the most I hate is the seven, that's how I go, seven things. Uh, a proud man? Yeah, yeah. Three things. Yeah, three things, huh? A, a man that went to war? Yeah, a man of war that suffers poverty. You know, that's how it goes. A man of understanding that turned him from. Yep. Yep. Hey. And then that. One of the points is a uh, man of war that suffers poverty, man. Because even here, <laughs> even in Esau's military, man, you got homeless. Yeah. How, how, how is that? <laughs> Bro, you go over there fighting, losing limbs, getting uh, yeah, PTSD, and you don't have somewhere to lay your head. With the nigga Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga's on the street. <laughs> Poor. Yeah. Poor. Poverty. Yeah, but that was, that was the point of uh, sins of Sodom, man. You know? Because yeah, there's a, a uh, prophecy, I mean, not a prophecy, a, a proverb that says, He that he that, were, um, he that despises the poor or mocketh the poor, the approach of his neighbors. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you're not supposed to treat the poor like they're, you know, not human. Yeah. Right. I got to preach that. That's what this society, you, you see that even here, right? Right. Just in this city. Yeah. yeah. All that money through these blocks. Bro. With all this homelessness and poverty. Yeah. Um, over. Hey, you, got homeless, you got homeless people right next to the White House. Man. Yeah. 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 Right across the street. Yeah. Set up. The inequality, you know, it's uh, the gap. We, you know, and then they act like there's not enough to go around for everybody. There's enough, more than enough to go around for everybody. You know, there's no shortage of, of anything. But he saw it's just too, he's just greedy. Exactly. He wants everything to himself. Yeah. You know, the, uh, Tupac said this, you know, he's like, why do, why do one man, you know, one wife, kids, and a husband need an eight-bedroom house? Right. That's the last one idea. Why do you got these big guys? So what the MTV? Uh, yeah, that, yeah. It was like a, uh, it was like a, uh, a, 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 a unreleased uh, yeah. interview. Interview on MTV. Uh, why you talk about Donald Trump and all them and how they got, it. they got all the, you know. Yeah. You got all these people starving, but you got this one guy, he got a big ass house with all these rooms. Man. Uh, no, no, no people yeah. to fill. You think about that? That one guy that got that big ass house with all the rooms, that's just one of them. He got multiple houses. I was just going to say. <laughs> and the other part I was going to say, there was a statistic that something I heard years and years ago. Bill Gates is so rich. This was then before this campaign. Uh, he's so rich that if he gave everybody in the world a dollar, he's He'll be the richest man on the planet. That's that one guy. And he's lower yeah, level. He's not even there, yeah. That's not uh, anybody with the last name Rothschild. I heard that uh, a similar thing that you said. They said he's so rich that if a hundred dollar bill was on the ground, it wouldn't be worth his time to pick it up. Hundred dollar bill. Yeah, that was just a candy wrapper for him. Yeah. yeah right. Why would you? He probably they don't got to see the Rothschilds. They don't have to pay for nothing when they own everything. Yeah. Why would I have to pay for something when I own the restaurant? Yeah. You know, why would I have to pay for gas when I own the gas station or whatever it is? Yeah. You know. They manipulate it and they make it wicked against children. Yeah. 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 Sirach 13 and 19 says, and I'll read 22. As the wild ass is the lion's prey in the wilderness, so the rich eat up the poor. Mm -hmm. As the proud hate humility, so does the rich abhor the poor. Yep. Mm -hmm. God. That's that's the state of the world right now. You know, it's it's the, the 
mega wealthy, rich trillionaires, yeah. and everybody else at the bottom, man. Yeah. And we see how hateful, uh, what hateful, what, uh, what is the product of that hate. You know, we see the inequality, we see the, the, uh, uh, the way people are struggling to live day by day, okay, uh, depending on multiple incomes just to be able to afford rent, you know, uh, the, you can't even have a normal family because the pressure of, of money is it, it's, it's breaking up families, mm -hmm. it's breaking up households, okay, and that's the result of this rich, wealthy, uh, wicked rulers that are, uh, that control these banking systems, that control the, the industries, yep. okay, that control, uh, corporations, the corporations, that's how they get down, you know, they, they have no pity on the poor, none, hmm. they cut us no slack, you know, if we're late for, for a, a right. payment, on a, on a Anything. service, what happens? It gets shut up. Late payment. What do you say on that? All of this. Good fellas, if you get the money, pay me. If you don't get the money, fuck you, pay me. <laughs> when you can't borrow another dollar, that's, 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 the, that's the whole thing of Esau. That's Blow the, the joint. <laughs> when, when the poor need a bailout, nah, you don't get no bailout. Yeah. Like you said, you know? when, the, when the poor needs a bailout, they tell you, oh, uh, pick yourself up by your bootstraps. bootstraps yeah. And you, you know that's impossible, right? You can't pick your own self up by trying to pick up your boots. That pick, means you have to float. Pick yourself up by the bootstraps when you had a basically a 500-year head start right. on, you know, everything. They control the system that keeps you in poverty, yeah. that keeps you below that line, you know? Or system... It's all by design. Even when they give you the 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 sorry to cut you off, but even when they give you the lowest of the lowest, when you're living in these projects and the lowest the lowest quality food and all that, it's just a pit. They're they're so deep with it, they want you to to be uh, deep in the trench or the pit so bad that you only go from the the, the trench to the uh, to the uh, to the hospital. Long, long, gone out there. They never, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Bill, they milk you all your money, go through that medical system, and then you die. What you gonna do anyway? All because they started weakening you from birth. With all the chemicals they put in you. It really, it, I mean, that's because it's bad. God doesn't every way. Yeah. Every way. Any, any, any wickedness they could have put on people, Jesus has been having to us. Hey, it's gonna get worse, man. Oh, yeah. It's gonna get worse. And that's why we tell you, hey, you want to fight? And hey, this is the only place that, that the, the fighting is, is going to have actual action, man. Because it's not a physical fight. You know, because you're not whooping this, you're not beating this man physically. No. Hey, Yahweh Shah has to take this devil down, man. And if you're not sick, and we always say, man, if you're not sick and tired of this place, hey, then you're going to be uh, destroyed with it, man. Mm -hmm. Because nothing, nothing here is, is built for you. Hey, the scripture tells us this is not our rest. You know? And there, there's multiple, multiple precepts on this, man. We can go into the, the parable of uh, Lazarus and the rich man. I want to grab that. Uh, but you got a free book. Yeah. Uh, classic, right? Uh, Isaiah 10. Yeah. One, go unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness that they have prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may do their prey, and that they may rob the father. But they're already in a deficiency position, and you're going to take advantage of them to their detriment. How bad is that? That's what this man does. That's what the system is set up to do. Was that uh, interest or loans and things like that? Yeah. You know, if you borrow money, and he's like, okay, well, we're going we're gonna to tax that. We're going to tax the, the 200, 500 that we give you. So by the time you, you uh -huh. want to pay, you're going to owe five. You're going to owe uh, six hundred and twenty dollars, not just five hundred. You should see the. Um I forgot the name of it, but it shows you how much you would end up paying, like for your house, you get a mortgage yeah. by year 2050. It'll show you how much interest you have paid. Say you pay 250,000 for the house, 
you didn't pay eight hundred thousand, yeah. six hundred thousand. By the time you end up paying all that shit off, that's yeah. <laughs> you just could have bought fucking three houses. Yeah. But that's how this devil does with you know with unrighteous decrees, the you know the law and everything. Hey, and really, their their law is so wicked and crooked and deceptive. Jake is starting to find out how to get into their paperwork. Yeah. It's too little, too late. <laughs> Jake trying to um. Uh, <laughs> they trying to but find like, little shit like uh. Yeah. Like, like that whole, the, uh yeah. If you if you want to buy a house, you don't pay on the, the the price of the house. You pay on the principal interest. I forgot how. It goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you own the house. You end up paying less, and you keep all the money in your pocket. And they they never come take the house because you're living in it. And you can that way you borrow on that that money that the house is worth, and you never put out no money. And now you you keep your money that they loaned you or that they gave you, and now you have the house to build money off. Right, right. And so you just living a rich lifestyle. It sounds good you don't though. Ever have the money. But look how but, long the information took to come out. Exactly. Man. You know, but man, now at this point, and I'm sure I'm mixing up a little bit. Man. But nevertheless, still, <laughs> they didn't know this. Years ago. But Jake don't realize that doesn't not gonna work for you. <laughs> it's not gonna work. You're not about to go up here to Esau and say, well, this law, this law, this law, give me a house. Or I seen some shit where a nigga said you ain't gotta put no money down on a car. So you still gotta pay for it. Yeah. You know, like niggas is always trying to find some loophole or, or Trump trying to find some way to get over it. Stop it. It's not gonna happen. We we we, we, we it's just a setup, man. Man just had one job and he pay off his house, pay off a car, pay off the, the college, mm -hmm. with that one income. Yeah. yeah. These are all wild things. Man has set up method, methods to, 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 um, to, to train, to how's, train. How's it go? Uh, Proverbs 29, verse I got you. Uh, 7. Yeah. The righteous considereth the cause of the poor. But the wicked regarded not to know. Yeah. And the common, the common, the common man's problem aren't looked at uh, with care, man. They're not attempted to because Esau don't care about the common man. He don't care about Jake, man. Look, look how how far he's come to break you down. And he's removed your father out of home, so now that your mother is only raising uh, both the son and the daughter, the son becomes a feminine, the daughter is extremely masculine, and that pattern repeats, man. Oh, Sir, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was talking about the mortgage, right? Yep. Uh, Ecclesiastes 21 and 8. He that buildeth his house with other men's money is like one that gathereth himself stones for the tomb of his burial. <laughs> is that all you're working for, man? Yeah. You're working yourself to death to pay off some debt. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Pay off debt with debt. Exactly, you know? That's your dollar it makes bill. No sense. Yeah. You, you, you get sick younger, you die younger because your, your mind is thinking, man, I can't miss today. How do you come out with this money? It's, it's just, you're all uh, chasing your own tail in this place, man. You're on the hill. You know? Putting your heart out ain't going nowhere. Oh, and also the next time. You don't have time. The most valuable thing is time. Yeah, you don't have time for, for your needs. And if you have children, guess what? You're being attentive unto their needs. If they got to go to the doctor, if they got to go to the dentist, whatever uh, whatever health complication they may have. So, hey, you're, you're slowly decaying. You know, you're not. The parents don't really pay attention to their health, you know, because they don't have the time to. They're at work. They got to go pick up kids, drop kids off, take them to activities, pick them up from there. By the time you're done with that, it's 8, 9 o'clock. Oh, you didn't cook? Go buy fast food. Yeah, man. We know there's nothing good in here. Bro, it's a, it's a, the system's created to wear you out. Yep. You know? And that's scriptural, you know? Yep. It's gonna, it's, it's, this man is trying to wear us out. That's, that's what he's doing. Trying to get us to conform and to finally just break and go to him. You know? Go to him. Yes, Master. We'll we'll do whatever you say. We'll we'll take your uh, Jews. We'll take uh, your your imprint. We'll we'll put on your name. You know. 
That's what it's doing. It's 